Thank you, Larry, and thanks to the Central Civitan Club for presenting this program for the 108th year. Uh, I was sitting in the back, and uh, and it was difficult to hear. Ms. Baggett, can you hear? Do you want to hear? Okay. Uh, I am the city judge. I've had the uh, pr privilege of being in that position uh, for 15 years now. I am on the ballot in November. I have talked to a couple of folks out here today who told me they had voted for me. I appreciate that vote, but it's so confusing that you have the, some judicial races on the August ballot and the city judge races on the ballot in November. So remember in November, uh, as you're voting for other candidates, when you get to the city judge position, I'd like for you to remember Charles Smith. I think experience is important. Uh, during my tenure as city judge, we have handled between four and 500,000 cases. You gain a little experience when you handle that many, but I didn't do it alone. Ernie Griffith back here is a city court clerk. Ms. Baggett is a deputy city court clerk. They do all the heavy lifting that allows the city court clerk, the city court to function efficiently and effectively. We are very concerned about trying to be, ensure that citizens don't have to spend an inordinate time when they are required to come to city court. I grew up in a community much like Cunningham. It was in Rutherford County outside of Murfreesboro. It was a little community that didn't have quite the same name as Cunningham. It was called Loafer's Rest. Uh, I know loafers always need to find a place to rest, but I grew up in a somewhat rural area. Uh, my family were somewhat farmers. We had hogs, chickens, and all of those things. And I understand the range of individuals who appear before city court. My experience as a judge has been invaluable. You know, whether you're cooking barbecue or having a house painted or hiring a welder or an attorney or whatever, one of the things you ask is, you know, what experience do you have? The experience I have had allows me to fairly, ethically, and legally address the needs of those issues that come before city court. I had a person appear today and introduce myself and he said, oh, I know you. And he didn't have a smile on his face. And he said, I've been in city court. He still wasn't smiling. And then I asked him what it was about. He had a red light camera issue. I know all of y'all are fans of red light cameras. Please know the court, the judge, doesn't write the law. I don't want to pass a buck to our members of our legislative delegation who are here. They do a great job, but it's my duty to interpret and apply the laws as they have been written. I think it's important for a judge to be neutral, not pro one side or the other, but to give an unbiased review of the facts and evidence before the court. I promise you that I will do that. It's been an honor to serve. I look forward to continuing to serve the community, and I'd appreciate your vote in November. Thank you.